Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. I've been getting requests to do a tutorial on the advanced music hack. So we're going to take a look at that today. The advanced music hack is brought to us by Swing Flip of Team The Other Guys and Hacky Resources. This is very easy to use, um, very easy to implement. Because of the size of the music files that you're going to put on here, it's recommended you use the USB setup, but you can use it on NAND as well, your regular SNS Classic. I'll go over both methods on how to do that. So first thing you do is you have to make sure your SNS Classic is modded to use these hacks. To do that, you can use the easy installer that I will have a link in my description to. And within those options, you can select the advanced music hack. Or you can go to hackgresources.com, install hackgce, install the advanced music mod that way and do it manually. So once you have your SNES Classic hacked and you've downloaded your advanced music mod, click the modules tab up here, install extra modules. What you're going to want to do is open up the folder that your music hack mod is in right here. You're going to drag that to this window over here and you'll see a plus sign next to the mouse button. That means that once you let go, it'll be added to this list right here. If for some reason that doesn't work, if you go to your hackg2 folder, user underscore mods folder, put it in there, that'll cause it to appear there as well. So we already have this added to our system. Let's open it up and take a look at the README. Once again, this comes from Swing Flip, Dan Deman, BS Linol, and Thanos RD. This module will disable the NES or SNES Mini's default menu music and randomly play as much custom music as you want, located on your external USB SD drive or internal NAND. Once again, he says this is intended for USB host setups only. The reason is because each decent size and quality WAV file, you know, WAV file, WAV, WAV file, has to be WAV file, is approximately 10 megabytes. However, you can use this mod with NAND if you want. So the new features. Songs are located on the USB folder within Media, HackG, Menu Music. This is to prevent clogging up your NAND with WAV files. You can drop as many WAV song files to your menu music folder and the mod will randomly select a song to play for the menu on boot. You can use any named WAV or WAV file and they will be deployed and split into the format which is readable by the kernel application. So how to use? Install the HMOD as you would normally do. For the USB drive, we're going to go to USB and HackG, create a menu music folder. So what you want to do if you're on USB is go to HackG and we're going to create a menu music folder. New folder, menu underscore music, just like that. Open it up and this is where you'll put your music files. It's that easy if you're on USB. It's a little bit more difficult on NAND. You're going to have to FTP into your system, but I'll show you how to do that real quick too. I've gone over this, I think, one or two other times on the channel, but to, to FTP into your system, which means to get into the file system on your SNES Classic, you go to Tools right here. You'll see this option, FTP server on FTP root clover at this address right here and this port right here. Make sure that is checked. You're going to open up your FTP client. I use FileZilla. It's going to look something like this. So you would put the host address in here. Username is root. Password is clover. Port 1021. And then you'll get your file system right here. So if you want to install the music on your SNES Classic itself, you have to go to var lib hackchi and like we did on the USB, we have to create our music folder here. So create directory, and it's going to be menu underscore music. Click OK. Now we have our new folder. This is where your WAV files are going to go if you're going to install this on your SNES Classic itself. So what you would do, you would take your menu music. Um, these songs were available at the GitHub. Uh, just some remixes of some Mario music. So let's take a couple here. We'll take these three and just drag them into this folder. And they should all appear there, no problem. There we go. That looks like that's all done. And that's it. We're just going to disconnect here. All right, so we have all the folders made and the music is where we want it. So let's install this module. Make sure the box is checked right here. You're going to click OK. After you hit OK, a bar will appear on your screen. It'll fill in green. And once it's done, it means that the hack is installed. 
And if you did everything right, as soon as we start up our SNES Classic, we should get some groovy jazz Mario music. So let's go over there and take a look. There we go! Some smooth Mario jazz for you. It's a very calming, calming song. Alright, that one's nice, but I'm gonna reboot for some more. See, look, it works. How about that? Maybe we let's try and get the third one too. In a minute. I feel like I'm on Delfino Island, just relaxing and chilling. There you go. Oh, also, so let's go into a game, and we'll head back to the menu, and you'll see same song. So the same song will be on here per boot. So once you boot up the console, whatever song that's playing will stay during your your time with the SNES Classic, you know, for that session. Um, once you reset or you log out, it'll randomly pick another one. And like you saw, you know, when you go into a game, come back out, same song, same thing for different folders. Whatever boots or whatever song is playing upon boot, that is what you're going to get throughout your entire time with it. So there you go. I'll leave it at that. Very awesome. Thank you so much to Swing Flip and everybody else involved with this uh, music hack. And of course, everybody over at Hackchi Resources for coming up with these awesome, awesome things that let you enjoy more out of your SNES Classic. And that's it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you want to contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out? And if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.